Hi, uh, my name is Evelyn Sachit. I'm 21 years old. I finished my school two years ago and I'm going to show you a little bit about my home and about the work that we do at our club uh, with the girls. So I'm going to have to show you now. Uh, this is my um, parents' bedroom. Uh, this is where they sleep, uh -huh. as you can see. Uh, this is uh, Maputi. Uh, this is where they sell um, for a living. They are vendors, so they sell this Maputi so that we can sustain a living. Uh, this is their wardrobe. Yeah, this is the room, as you can see. Okay, um, moving on. Um, this is our sitting room, uh, as well as our kitchen. Uh, this is where we do uh, the cooking, all the cooking. Uh -huh. uh, we use a gas stove. Uh, we don't have electricity here. So we we'll use this uh, gas stove for us to cook. Yeah. yeah. And this is my sister. So yeah. And this is my sister Tanaswa. Uh, she's in form two. Yeah. Yeah. And this is my father, my daddy. Yeah, yes, you can see. Yes, I also sleep in here. I don't have a room. Um we are, I sleep here with my two sisters, two little sisters. This one, uh, the other one is not around. She's at school. So we sleep here. We don't have a room. So after the, the cooking, after we have uh, finished cooking, we then sleep here. Okay. And this is my brother's room. Uh, I have a brother who is in Form 5. Uh, he sings at one high school. And this is his room. Uh, he sleeps here. Um, he also studies here. Because he's doing a uh, sense subject. So he studies here, he sleeps here. Uh, we share this old rope. We, we share this. And uh, this, uh, these are my clothes uh, for my brothers and his books. And these are uh, for my sister. And this is for me. Yeah. I put my uh, inside here. Uh, this is, these are mine. Okay, so these are the blankets as you can see. Mm -hmm. It is very really difficult for me to feed the children. Sometimes they go to school without eating because the amount that I'm getting is very, very little. Mm. How I'm, much? I'm struggling to feed them. Mm. Sometimes they don't eat mm. in the morning. In the morning. You see, this little girl come from school. She she eats bread just bread without anything, with no drink, no tea. I can't. I can't uh, get money to feed these children. Evelyn, is that your experience? Have you have there been days when you weren't able to eat before going to school? Yeah, yeah. Like what she's saying, life is not easy. Like. Sometimes we spend the whole day without eating and then we, we eat in the evening. Uh, even my little sister here, she's now used to, to eat in the evening only. Sometimes uh, we even uh, spend the whole day eating this maputi. Uh, we don't have mealy meal. Uh, you know, because of the current situation in Zimbabwe, you can't, you can't go to, to the neighbor saying, can you, can you give me some mealy meal? She will refuse because uh, she has her budget, so you don't go to anyone. It's your life, so it's very, it's very difficult. Yeah. Are you using these shoes now? Yeah. Where did you get these shoes? Is it difficult to have? Is it difficult to walk in these shoes? Yeah, it's, it's difficult. How far do you have to go to school? Uh, about three kilometers. There and three kilometers back? Yeah. There's no money for bus fare. No money for bus fare? Yeah. yeah. The school is far away from here. The school is far away from here, so she has to walk because her mom can't afford to give her money for transport. Our garden uh, that contains vegetables, maize, onions, and this is uh, garlic. garlic. 
this is our toilet um, yeah this is our toilet and we do the washing in here again okay ah uh, the door is i uh, need to be fixed you know yeah yeah uh, this is it this is our toilet uh this is where we put soap okay yeah. Okay, yeah, this is where we do the, the washing again. Mm. Okay, well, because the door is uh, it's not uh, proper, well, we use this to cover up. We use this, like, like this one. Okay, so. Okay. Uh, this is where we cook, uh, we do the cooking when it's raining uh, inside this uh, chair. Yeah, we usually cook here when it's raining uh, uh, with my sister. And I'm gonna have to show you. Uh, uh, we also this use this. Coal. This is coal. We also use this if you don't have firewood. So now I'm going to fetch water in our neighbor's well. Okay, we don't have a well here, so we usually fetch water uh, there. Uh, so now we're gonna have to fetch water. Now I'm gonna have to fetch some water. Okay, this is where we fetch water. We How many times a day do you do this, Evelyn? Uh, seven times. So Evelyn, let me ask you a question. Okay. Your club, which we're going to visit, yeah. you're making soap there, but you're also trying to encourage girls not to get married early. Yeah, yeah. Why is that important? Yeah, um, it is very, very important uh, for a girl to be educated about early child marriage. Because <laughs> I realize that even girls, we can be someone in life. You can be a doctor, you can be a lawyer, you can be anything that you want to be in life rather than getting married whilst you are still under the age of 18. So we need to empower these girls that uh, besides marriage, you have to do something, you have to be educated. We need educa uh, educated women in, 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 in Zimbabwe, in our society, that who stand up and speak out for themselves. If uh, they are being abused, they know where to report and their voices will be heard. Uh, this is old man uh, with uh, four wives and uh, this is the young lady, the young girl who was forced to marry this old man. Uh, She's 18 and she's feeling very sad because she has to t uh, take care of the house and take care of the old man of which she's pregnant, you know. So this is it. She was forced into marriage. Forced, she was still under the age of 18. How, how old do you think she was? 13. 13? Yeah, 13. And she's pregnant? She's pregnant. Yeah, she's fishing water. She needs to fish water. She needs to fish to feed this old man and also taking the responsibility at her home you know this is the compound with other wives yeah so you've known girls who have had that situation have you yes i've known them and i've i've seen them So production uh, we meet with the girls every week uh, on Saturday and we do the soap production and now the girls they are they are, they are doing the pa the packing uh, they're filling the bottles uh, with with soap so now I have to go and see how they're doing because uh, they are packing the bottles okay, okay.
So what did that mum say just now to you? Mummy mummy is saying she's impressed about what what WAP is doing to the community of uh, Chitungwiza St. Mary's because the, it has got a high rate of early child marriages, uh, rape cases, abuse, alcohol, abuse of alcohol staff, you know, in this economic hardship of the nation. Uh, so they are saying thank you WAP because you are doing a great job to, the, uh, to our girls. They are no longer uh, getting involved in prostitution, in uh, unnecessary bad things, because they have got now something to do, especially now that they are uh, doing so production. They are spending more time here uh, producing, marketing, and coming back, having their programs, their meetings as young girls. Thank you, Wap. <laughs> okay, uh, the girls have packed 45 bottles today, uh, each cost a dollar or 15 bond and we are going to take them to the market and we are going to sell them in shops. Um, so since we, uh, since September when we start the production we have sold uh, 362 bottles. Uh, of these 750 mils and I would like to give you uh, one of these as a gift uh, so that you can test our product so guys um, let's give a cheer uh, to our friend in America like, wow. ah!